All right, you're lost live coming to you from Southern California here. Happy Friday. It's 3.02 in the afternoon. It's March 29, 2019. All right, great news. I read this article here from TeaParty.org. I think it was mirrored from the Gateway Pundit. Headline is amazing. It says, it says it's official. U.S. is first country in world history. The United States of America uh, is the first country in world history to increase its GDP by more than one trillion in one year. Oh, what is GDP? Well, that's the gross domestic product. What's that? Well, that is, here's the definition. The GDP gross domestic product is the monetary value of all the finished goods and services produced within a country's borders in a specific time period. It's the stuff, man. <laughs> I love it. This is great news. The uh, United States of America is the first country in, in world history to increase its GDP by more than one trillion in a year. It's finished goods and services produced in this country. Oh, in your face. I'm excited about this. Listen, the New World Order wants the opposite. They wants the GDP to drop in every country, wants to bring every country into a third world status. Sure, poverty, uh, 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 backwardness. Yeah, sure. Oh, that is, the New World Order operates. Their, their system operates through the opposite of Bible prosperity. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The devil doesn't like when people are healed. The devil and the forces of darkness, the New World Order, the demons, the Vatican-run New World Order, they don't like when people are made whole. They don't like when babies are saved. Even though they say they're against abortion, they run the abortion industry around the world. Even though they say they're for world peace, they're actually causing the wars behind the scenes with their banks and their armies and their paid politicians. Hypocrites. Yeah, yeah. Jesus said in the last days, Matthew 24, he said there will be increase in wars and rumors of wars. That's how the New World Order goes forward. <laughs> But Jesus, the Prince of Peace, in his people on the earth through their prayers and obedience, hold back the darkness. So, so even though the uh, debt is being forced up by the Fed, interest rates, which, which is ridiculous, because I th this article even points it out that seven years when Obama was president, the Feds kept the interest rate at zero, all right, to make Obama look good. But the feds have been increasing the interest rates during Trump's presidency to make his numbers look uh, not as good as they should. Yeah, the debt's not Trump's fault. Sure, if, tr if Trump stayed in for, you know, he was a king over this country and there was no limits, uh, I think the, 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 the federal debt would be dis 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 disintegrated. He'd pay it off. Sure, sure. But num with numbers like this, the GDP increases by more than a trillion in just one year. That's the hand of God on this country. I said, that's the hand of God on this country. The devil has had about 150 years against this country to bring it down and to destroy it and bring it into the New World Order. Because prior to uh, 1871, now this country is, it will be a 243 years old. So United States, the USA, the United States of America, will be 243 years old this July. Sure, 2019, yeah, July 4th. Uh, for uh, the last, if you go back from 2019 back to 1871, we've had bad presidents after bad presidents, except when Trump became president. Trump's the only president in the last 100 and almost 50 years that has not been part of the New World Order matrix system. Yeah, he's been unplugged. That's why his, his, his slogan is make America great again. When America was great, it wasn't controlled by the Vatican. The Vatican didn't control the U.S. presidents. <laughs> you want to make America great again? Unplug from the matrix. Unplug from the New World Order. The Vatican controlled New World Order. And the Vatican is controlled by fallen angels and demon spirits. Sure. It's official U.S.'s first country in world history to increase GDP by more than a trillion in a year. In a year. For the second year in a row, he's only been president two years. Second year in a row, President Trump broke the record for the largest annual increase in GDP in history. I, I, I said this before, and I'll keep saying this. Even if there was no president, even if Barack Hussein Obama left office and there was no president, in office for the last two years, the, the, the USA, the United States of America, would, have, would just automatically heal by itself. Because these uh, Vatican leaders, Obama and past presidents, 
back to about, uh, well, it'll be 148 years uh, minus two, 146 years. Could Trump's been president for two years. So 146 years, approximately, of U.S. presidents, back to 1871, have been con controlled by the Vatican. And they, their job was to make war and more and war and debt and debt and debt and to hurt this country. Some presidents have done it more than others. Obama, if he was allowed to stay in longer than his eight-year term, would have brought this country into the New World Order. And uh, in saying that, Barack Hussein Obama will come back into power in the near future for 42 months and finish the job. He was supposed to do it in eight years. Couldn't do it. Why? Because the Bible says that the Antichrist will not have the power to force the world into the Great Tribulation until after the next rapture, until the Christians leave the planet, the born-again, spirit-filled, Bible-obeyers leave the planet. He doesn't have the power. The New World Order doesn't have the power. The fallen angels, demon spirits, New World Order, they don't have the power to take over the planet, to finish, finalize their agenda, New World Order, one world government, when the born-again, spirit-filled Christians are here. Listen, the, the, the fallen angels have been trying uh, to set up the one world government for 6,000 years since the Garden of Eden. They can't do it until we leave. They won't tell you that, but I will. <laughs> the second year in a row, President Trump broke the record for the largest annual increase in GDP in history. Well, now we know it's not Trump. We know it's the spirit of Christ, Jesus, in Trump, working through him. The Bible says that we are living in the last days and that the spirit of Christ in the body of Christ, in the believers, uh, the obeyers of the scriptures, uh, I'm not talking about religious people. I'm talking about Jesus people. Jesus, uh, people being obedient to Jesus. There's a lot of hypocrites out there, but I'm not talking about them. There's a lot of religious people on the planet. I'm not talking about them. I'm not talking about the Catholic Church or the Mormons or the Jehovah Witnesses. I'm not talking about the religions. I'm talking about Jesus in his people. Religion has nothing to do with this. All right? Actually, I tell people all the time, run from all religion. Run! <laughs> in these last days, God would resist the New World Order, as he has done for 6,000 years. But even greater in these last days, 2019 and beyond, because there's so many born-again, spirit-filled people that are praying and obeying in these last days. And the forces of darkness, they won't admit it, but they can't win while we're here. Suckers! And even when we're gone, they're going to have a hard time. When the next rapture happens, it'll create a vacuum. The prayer warriors, the obedient ones, will be gone. The people left behind will have to come to Jesus. But then there'll be newbies, and they won't have the experience, the maturity, the power, the discipline to do what, has, what, is, what is being done on the earth today. The only reason the earth is not in the great tribulation and constant hell on the earth is because of Jesus working through his people on the earth, not religion. All right. Whoop. I'll give you some scriptures here in a moment. In 2017, the U.S. GDP increased by a record of $853 billion. Yeah, but this record was shattered in 2018 with an increase of greater than $1 trillion. The largest annual GDP in, uh, by any country in world history. Right in your face. Listen, the New World Order, with all the crooked media, mainstream crooked media run by the CIA, which is run by the CIA, is run by the Vatican, the Jesuits uh, around the world. Uh, they, they couldn't put Hillary in. They couldn't keep Obama in. And they couldn't put uh, uh, Hillary Clinton in. This, this, this non-politician runs for the first time for the U.S. presidency and wins. <laughs> right in their faces. Boo! They still can't get over. That's why they hate Trump. They really hate Jesus that is orchestrating this. <laughs> yeah. I laugh because it reminds the New World Order. It reminds all the people that worship the Dark Lord, the fallen angels and demon spirits, Lucifer himself, the fallen angel Lucifer, Wicked, evil spirits and their people on the earth. It reminds them constantly that they can't rule the earth. The earth doesn't belong to them. The earth is the Lord's, the, the fullness thereof, the world and all they who dwell therein. Jesus owns the planet. Yeah, he, uh, the earth was given to humans. But people lost their authority and their power and their dominion through sin. Because Jesus never sinned and he made himself a human body. He rules <laughs> in heaven and on earth. And those that uh, come in covenant and contact with Jesus. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, so the New World Order is really trespassing. And they've been trying for 6,000 years to set up their kingdom. 
You ever wonder why the fallen angel Lucifer just, just, just doesn't show up and say, hey, I'm taking over and, and just appear to everybody? Because he can't, because he's a spirit being. He's a fallen angel. He doesn't have the authority to take over the earth. He has to use a human. Whereas Jesus made himself a body and said, I'm making myself a body. I'll be born in Bethlehem. <laughs> I'll live for 33 and a half years on this planet. I'll, I'll have myself crucified for, for the sake of all humanity and pay the ultimate price and sacrifice as the Lamb of God. And then I will take off for 2,000 years, uh, rise again from the dead, and then uh, come back in about 2,000 years and set up my kingdom, which will set up the 7,000-year reign, uh, full reign of, of, of well, capital, the 7,000 years of humans on the earth. From Adam and Eve until now, it's 6,000 years. When Jesus comes back, he'll reign for 1,000 years to set up the final cap of the 6,000 plus 1,000 equals 7,000, which is the perfection time. Then he'll redo the earth, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. So this is a great resistance right now. Why? Because God's spirit is being poured out on the planet more than ever before. And because there's more born again, spirit filled people on the earth than ever before. Yeah. And we're so close to the, to the return of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And the technology exists now is stronger than ever before and greater. So it gets the information out to everybody and nobody can say, I didn't know. You ever heard of the internet? Yeah. You just didn't want to know. Yeah. The World Bank reported for 2017 that the U.S. was about 25% of the total world GDP of around 80 trillion. So that world GDP is 80 trillion. Yeah. So the U.S. is about 25% of the total world GDP. The World Bank reported that the U.S. at 19 trillion to China's 12 trillion, Japan's 5 trillion, Germany's 4, and the U.K.'s 3 trillion. Yeah. What? So that's a, a lot of difference between the U.S. and even China. And China has, what, a billion and a half population of China? Population of China. Uh, no wonder the, the devil hates the U.S. And you have the 1.386 billion. Yeah, that's actually from 2017. It's a lot more now. It's, uh, here it is. The current population of China, 2019, is 1. Uh, 1.418 billion. Billion, b -b 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 billion, right? But their GDP is a lot less than the U.S. You got 12 trillion uh, to the U.S. is 19 trillion. Whatever. Okay. Uh, for the year 2018, some stats. 2018, according to the U.S. BEA, -E the U.S. GDP landed at 20.9 trillion for the first time in history, being above the 20 trillion for the year. The increase over the last year's uh, record high is the largest in history. The U.S. GDP increased by more than one trillion for the first time in history. I mean, listen, the Lord Jesus is pulling out all the stops. The Lord Jesus Christ is pulling out all the stops. Yeah. Uh, why? Because he's coming back and he wants a great resistance to help people uh, get ready for his return. Yeah. Et cetera, et cetera. Sure. And uh, is this not going to help get Trump reelected? Sure it will. Yeah. Yeah, and everything, if everything goes according to plan and continues the way it is, Trump should have no problem getting reelected uh, next year, 2020. Yeah. So, and I'll say it again. I'll say it again. I'll say it again. And I'll say it again. There is a high, 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 high probability that Jesus Christ returns during a Trump presidency. I'll just put that out there. I didn't say it would be. I said there's a high, high probability. Watch my video. It's got over a million views called Trump's Name in the Bible. Just type in Daryl Lawson YouTube video, Trump's Name in the Bible, you'll see it. I think there's 1.23 million right now, whatever, something like that. Along with this, President Trump has managed to keep the debt to GT GDP ratio from increasing since he became president. For 2018, the ratio is at the same amount as when he took over. By comparison, former President Barack Obama increased the debt to GDP ratio more than 25%. In Obama's first two years. Uh, yeah, and people, you don't hear this, and that's why I want to talk about that. Uh, Barack Obama was supposed to be the closing pitcher, the, the closing destroyer of this country. Ah, <laughs> Revelation 13 says that he will not succeed uh, in his first uh, world appearance. That Barack Obama would, would not have seen, the, the Antichrist Barack Hussein Obama would not succeed when he came to power the first time. He would be wounded. Unto death, his legacy would be wounded to death, but he'd come back into power for 42 months. 
watch my video. I just did a video yesterday uh, on, on something similar to this. Uh, here's one. Uh, 20 hours ago, I did on YouTube. Go to my website, DarylLawsonLive.com or DarylLawson.com and check out all my videos. Yesterday, I did a video called Trump Fights the Mark of the Beast. Again. Obamacare 2019, and I, that's a 42-minute video there, and I mentioned these things, how that the Antichrist is getting hurt, and will get hurt and the system until we leave, primarily, yeah. Oh, my, 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 the, the, uh, this is very, very interesting, yeah. By comparison, former, pr former, ah, oh, I love that he's not president anymore, former President Obama increased the debt the GDP ratio by more than 25% in his first two years only. Boo! I've never seen so many uh, businesses close. And I've never seen so many houses go into foreclosure before in my life, except under Barack Obama. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just go down the street and loot, lost house, lost their house, lost their house, lost their house. Yeah. Because Obama is the son of perdition, the man of sin, the little whore. He's a pain in the butt. That's what he is. Yeah, he's the destroyer. Uh, the little destroyer under Christ, uh, under the Antichrist. Yeah. Under the Antichrist. Un Antichrist system, I mean. Un under Lucifer. Yeah. The fallen angel Lucifer. He's the Antichrist. Je Jesus brings prosperity. The Antichrist and the system brings debt and poverty. Uh, and uh, everything that goes with that. Yeah. And war. Yeah. Jesus Christ brings prosperity, health, forgiveness. Freedom from bondage. The New World Order brings the opposite. And since Barack Obama is the Antichrist, Pope Francis is the false prophet, they, they are be, behind the scenes doing all this stuff, bringing the opposite of biblical prosperity. They, you cannot set up a, their New World Order without bringing people into bondage because people don't want to join the New World Order. The whole thing about Brexit that uh, people don't understand is that Brexit is a is a punch in the face to the Vatican. The Vatican runs the EU. So the Vatican tries to bring everybody under a control system to break away their sovereignty. The EU was set up primarily to, 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 to steal the sovereignty of the European countries. So this whole thing, it was supposed to be today, they, uh, the UK was supposed to exit, Brexit today, the EU. People are marching in the streets today. Or were... And, uh, the, of course, the Queen is not for Brexit because the Queen is, is, is part of the New World Order and the royal family. And uh, the Brexit was a nightmare against the Vatican. And that's why they try to, they're trying to delay it, delay it, delay it, hope, hope people forget about it. And what the UK government did to the, to the, to the British people is, is tragedy, is, is uh, evil. But the EU was trying to keep the UK in and, and, don't, and they don't want, of course, the EU and, and the Vatican, the New World doesn't want Brexit. They can't control the UK the way they want if they leave the EU. All these things are set up. Religions are set up to control people, right? Uh, wars are set up to control people and depopulate the earth, right? Debt, war, the EU, NATO, the UN, uh, different organizations are set up. The banking system, the debt over countries are set up to control Sure, and this, et cetera, et cetera. It's all about control, taking away your God-given rights. All right, the debt to GDP ratio would be less than when President Trump took over if the Fed, the, the debt to the GDP ratio would be less already now uh, when President Trump took over if the Fed left the interest rates alone. So the numbers they're saying would be even better under Trump. If the Feds, right, the Federal Reserve, left the interest rates alone and did not increase them after President Trump won the 2016 election. For seven of Obama's eight years in office, the Fed uh, kept the interest rate at zero. Oh, evil. Oh, evil. Uh, I just, uh, and, and who controls the money system? The Federal Reserve System. The Federal Reserve System is the central banking system of the U.S. Yeah, but it's not run. It's not run. It's not a government entity. The Federal Reserve has federal in it. But the Federal Reserve is, is run by the Vatican. 
The Federal Reserve System is the central is the central banking system of the U.S. of America, but it's not run by America. It was created on December twenty third, nineteen thirteen. With the enactment of the Federal Reserve Act, after a series of financial panics, which was created by the Vatican in this country, just like they do in Venezuela and other countries, after a series of financial panics led to the to the desire for the central control of the monetary system in order to alleviate financial crises. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and actually, if you look at, <clears throat> let me see. Uh, to, uh, thank God for the internet. I said, thank God for the internet. So the Federal Reserve was set up in uh, December 23rd, 1913, right? Yeah. Uh, the Titanic went down in 1912. You know, if you study the Titanic and how uh, the opposers, a lot of these uh, banking officials, uh, leaders, were actually on the Titanic. And... Uh, if you read and and uh, study uh, the Titanic, the Titanic was made to go down by the Vatican. The Vatican took down the Titanic because there was people on that boat that were opposed to the Federal Reserve, and it sunk in 1912, April 14th, April 15th, 1912. Well, guess what? The Federal Reserve showed up in 1913, right? December, about a year later. And... Uh, it wasn't a coincidence. If you look into all the details of the Sink of Titanic, uh, it was sunk because there was people on that ship that were opposed to the Federal Reserve uh, being set up. And your ship going to go bye-bye. Your ship going to go down-down. Yeah. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and the Vatican does that around the world. Planes go down. Things happen all the time. When people get in the Vatican's way. They even killed presidents of the U.S. The Vatican killed JFK. Because JFK came in their way. JFK came in the way of the Vatican's uh, wars. The Vatican's uh, monetary control of this country. JFK, President Kennedy, wanted to uh, take back the control from the Federal Reserve, the banking system, out of the Vatican's control. Now, nobody says the Vatican is control, controls the Federal Reserve, but I do. I know who controls the Federal Reserve, and that's from the scriptures. <laughs> yeah, from the book of Revelation. I know who controls the banking systems around the world and the Federal Reserve, yeah. So JFK wanted to take back the control of the banking system in the U.S. from the Federal Reserve, and they killed him for it, yeah. And the Vatican, through the Jesuits, put a hit out on, on Kennedy, and they killed him. Surprise, surprise, Titanic, JFK, et cetera, et cetera, and it's not, it, it, it happens all the time, yeah. Ooh, my, my, my. Okay, it says here the, the debt to the GDP ratio would be less if the Fed left the interest rates alone and did not increase them after Trump won the 2016 election. For seven of Obama's eight years in office, the Fed kept the interest rates at zero. Once Trump was elected, the Fed increased rates eight times. And this is just in the two years of Trump. Why would the Fed increase the rates eight times? Because they want Trump's numbers to go down. They don't want him to get reelected. He's in their way. The Fed has increased in the last two years the, the, uh, the, the interest rates uh, for a total of 2%. Eight times for 2%. Yeah. This alone accounts for nearly $1 trillion in U.S. debt that was added to the, the, to the federal debt. That the Fed has added by increasing interest rates alone. Evil. The Fed, the Federal Reserve, appears to be working against the U.S. interest. Oh, yeah. And still, the U.S. economy under President Trump is setting miraculous records in your face. The U.S. is winning, 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 and setting significant positive records under Trump. Imagine what he could do with a Congress and a Fed that work for the American people. Oh, I love it. I mean, this is a great article. I wanted to mention that, put things in perspective. Because if you don't understand these things, you can't understand biblical pro prophecy, end time events. You don't know what's going on. Yeah, they'll never say this in the news. <laughs> they all say the same thing. Psalm 35, 27 in the Bible says, Psalm 35, 27, let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. This is Jesus' cause. Yes, let them say, continue, let, 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 let the Lord Jesus be magnified and praise which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. The Lord loves prosperity for the earth. <laughs> he put Adam and Eve in a garden, right? Not in a dump. Yeah. And he gave him dominion over the whole planet. John 10.10, 10, the thief, the new world order, the fallen angels, demon spirits, the Federal Reserve, 
uh, the Vatican, all right, and most politicians come to uh, the devil himself, which run them, uh, come to steal, kill, and destroy. Backwards, not forward. Jesus comes that, that people might have life and they might have it more abundantly. I'm sticking with Jesus. Yeah! Romans 8.32. He that spared not his own son, the Father, God, but delivered Jesus up for us all, how shall he not with Jesus also freely give us all good things? Proverbs 3.16. Length of days. Who, who, who doesn't want to live long? It, it, it is in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor. He's talking about the Holy Spirit, God, Jesus. Yeah, wisdom. Proverbs 8, 18. Riches and honor are with me, Jesus said. Riches and honor. Riches. <laughs> Gerbil riches and righteousness. And righteousness. He'll wash your sins away. Proverbs 8, 18. Proverbs 11, 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. So if you just have money, but you don't have your sins washed away, and Jesus... Uh, blood over you and his spirit in you, you're not really rich yet. But you can have both. <laughs> Proverbs 8, 11, for wisdom is better than rubies. And all that you uh, and all the things that may be desired not are not to be compared to it. And Jesus is our wisdom. Yeah. Like I said, saying that Proverbs 10, 22, the blessing of the Lord, it makes rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. See, when the New World Order or the people living in the worldly system, the, uh, uh, the New World Order, they say, look at all our stolen riches. Look at what we have. Yeah, but they're filled with sorrow. Their lives are cursed. Never, 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 never look at the wicked in the world and say, oh, look how blessed they are. Because they are cursed. And their life, their lives are full of roadkill. Yeah. Matthew 6, 33. But seek first the kingdom of Jesus and his righteousness and all things shall be added to you. Love it. I mean, look at Trump. I mean, I saw some pictures of him just landing with, is it Air Force? It's not Air Force. One. What's the helicopter called? Whatever. The, hel the, the uh, president's helicopter lands in Florida there at his residence. Trump has all these mansions around the world, and yet he still wants to help and serve this country. Man, talk about a uh, symbolic of Jesus. Trump is ve very symbolic of Jesus. He is, has a servant's heart that Jesus put in there. Because if Jesus wasn't in Trump's heart, Trump would just be going, look at me, I'm so great, blah, blah, blah. He wouldn't be serving this country. He wouldn't be taking all the BS. But he's putting himself out there to serve this country. Doesn't have to, 70, what, three now? Multi-billionaire. Could go around the world, you know, and just, you know, take it easy, play golf all the time. Wants to serve this country. And he's taking the pressure because he's called to by Jesus. I mean, I love it. And the devil hates it. Oh. Lord, seek first the kingdom of Jesus, all things will be added unto you. Yeah. So uh, you can see that Trump is not controlled by his wealth. He controls his wealth by the Spirit of the Lord. Yeah. He's not perfect, but he's the perfect man for the job. And he loves Jesus. Luke 12, 15. And he said to them, Jesus said, Take heed and beware of covetousness. I gotta be rich, gotta be rich. That's your goal. Don't that's not your goal. Shouldn't be your goal. For a man's life or a person's life consists not in the abundance of the thing which you possess. So your life is not in the abundance of your things. Right? Your life is wrapped up with Jesus, and he will bless you. Yeah. Oh! Uh, Luke 12, 30. For all these things do the nations of the world see. People, you know, that don't know Jesus or backslidden Christians, of course their goal is stuff, 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 stuff. Uh, it's idols to them. No, no, all these things do the nations of the world seek. I'm talking about the GDP and all that. I mean, it's, it's, it's not the end all, but it's a great thing. You don't worship riches, but thank God that riches are being poured into this country. And, and Jesus, through Trump, was trying to make this country great again in order to resist the New World Order's takeover of this country and the nations. Because this nation is connected with the nations. And as so goes the U.S., so the world. And the nations seek stuff only, which is the New World Order. It's their, it's their, their God is money. But not Trump. You can see he serves a different master. And that's our heart should be as well. And your father knows that you have need of all these things. Verse, uh, 1 Timothy 6, 7, for we brought nothing into this world. And it certainly can carry nothing out. <laughs> so don't get too attached. Use it for Jesus. Enjoy something, but use it for Jesus. First, 1 Timothy 6, 9, but they that that will be rich, I, that's I want to be rich, that's what my goal, will fall into temptation and snares, into many foolish and hurtful lusts, 
which drown men in destruction and perdition. So if, you, if your goal is only to be rich, you are screwed. Yeah, you have a terrible life. Second Thessalonians 2, 6. And you know what is holding him back? The, the Antichrist, the New World Order. For he can be revealed only when his time comes. He truly can't get his work done until we leave. Second, Second Thessalonians 2, 7. For this lawlessness is already at work secretly, and it will remain secret or behind the scenes until the one who is holding it back steps out of the way, until the next rapture happens. Listen, if you're not born again, spirit-filled, get born again, spirit-filled. Jesus, wash my sins away, fill with your Holy Spirit. <laughs> get in the Bible, read it, and do it. Watch my videos. Daryl Lawson, live.com, DarylLawson.com will help you understand and go forward. Understand what the devil, the force of darkness are doing, what, what the end time events are happening right, right around us, what's happening in, in American politics and politi politics around the world and the news around the world. You can't properly interpret what's going on without Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, The news, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're owned by corporations and they're, and they're meant to bring disinformation. So I read this title, I thought, hallelujah. It's official. The U.S. Is the, is the first country in world history to increase the GDP by more than a trillion in a year under Trump's watch. Right in your face, New World Order. <laughs> Jesus Christ is coming back. All right. Pass this video to other people. Encourage them. Get the information out. Uh, DarylLawsonLive.com. Uh, pass my other videos out as well. And I, also, I have postings 24-7. Bible verses of the day. Uh, postings on social media. Facebook, Twitter, etc., etc. Instagram to help people grow up. And not be in their baby state, or yeah, or just be. I don't know anything, and I'm scared. No, nope, we don't. We're, we're not. We've, we've not been given the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Power, love, and a sound mind, and the best is yet to come if you're born again, spirit filled. All right, get born again, get spirit filled, stay born again, stay spirit filled. I'm out of here. Pass the video on. Thanks for your prayers and financial support. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you. I love you. Bye for now.